Good evening, friends. My name is Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Of course, this is May the 27th, and tonight's broadcast comes with a very heavy heart. <clears throat> and I say that because I was totally unaware that out of the 14 people that were killed in this tragic accident over in Italy, six of those that were killed were not just Israelis, but they were actually the family members of one of my dearest friends in Israel. And uh, so with a very sad heart, I wanted to speak about uh, this accident and uh, and just really send our love and condolences to uh, Chris uh, and to his family that are suffering so greatly this majorly tragic loss uh, of their family there. And um, this is uh, Chris here in, in the photograph you're seeing on the page right now. And... Uh, uh, he's just, he's a very special brother to me, and I, and I happen to love him very much. And uh, it's, it's, like I said, with a very, very, very sad heart, because I can just feel, I feel the pain that this family is going through. And and when he first wrote me of this happening, it, it was probably a, maybe a day or so after the accident. Um, I didn't realize that it was the accident in Italy. In fact, I sent him a message and I asked him, I said, Chris, what are you talking about? I mean, how did your family die? Which which part of your family members had passed away? Uh, because I know a lot of his family members, and uh, sadly, it was their daughter. Uh, and he said to me, Steve, you can share this on the screen with people. But his daughter here, his wife and uh, their daughter, her husband, their two children, also uh, the boys here that were killed in that accident. Uh, as well as his father-in-law, Isaac, and his uh, mo and his mother-in-law, uh, which were the great-grandparents of these children here. And Izzy was uh, an incredible man. Um, uh, he is uh, really a grandfather of Israel. And, and I say a grandfather, he has had so many achievements in that nation. Some of those, I don't know if it would be even appropriate for me to speak about all of his achievements. Uh, he was an Egyptian Jew, uh, Izzy was, and uh, his, um, his father was the chief rabbi of Egypt when he came to Israel in the early, in the early beginnings of the, of the country. Uh, his family had to be rescued out of Egypt because of the killing of the Jews that were going on uh, back in, uh, I believe that was around 1950 when that happened there. And uh, but he, him and his wife uh, were both also killed in this uh, this accident that was over there. Uh, he also worked with El Al Airlines. Uh, he he did some amazing things. He worked with Israel Space and Satellite Program programs in the in the 60s. Um, he was uh, the vice president of El Al Airlines for 45 years, and uh, you know he he just has a long string of accomplishments. And uh, I know that this family is going to really, really miss every one of them, every one of them. Um, so again, as I said, my heart really is, uh, is saddened by the loss for the sake of, uh, of Chris's family. And, um, you know, it, it's just, the whole thing's a tragedy. I know that uh, just the, the recent news is they've arrested, the Italians have arrested uh, the operators of uh, the, the car, the cable car system because they, they claim that it could have been prevented. Uh, I'm sure that just really is even harder on the family to find out afterwards that it could have been prevented but was not. Uh, some safeguards that it could have kept the car from crashing to the ground. Um, as I said, could have been prevented. There was one survivor uh, of this crash, which 14 people were killed. One little boy, five years old, uh, has actually awakened from the coma that he was in. And um, that's about the only good news that we can see of this whole ordeal. But uh, again, I just, I want to say to, to Chris and his family, God bless you. You will have literally thousands, tens of thousands of people praying for your family um, and our sincere heartfelt prayers and love will go out to your family 
uh, for this tremendous, tremendous loss uh, in this family. Just a wonderful family. And, uh, and, and my heart, really, I want to say to uh, my brother, um, for the sake of your privacy as well, if you would give a, a very special love and condolence to your wife as well. Uh, from me to her, especially, because I know that this is the, the, the worst tragedy that she could possibly be facing. The loss of her parents, her daughter, her son-in-law, her grandchildren. Um, I, I can't even begin to imagine how much you guys are suffering at this point. So our greatest shalom to your entire family, we send to you. And uh, and I know that something will good will come of this because always when there is such a tragedy, there's always something good that comes out of this somehow, somewhere. And so I pray that uh, our Heavenly Father will give you peace beyond understanding and especially for your wife as well and the rest of your family that is suffering and grieving from this tragic loss. God bless you, my brother.